Alexa, how hot is it? Today, expect a high of 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Turn the air conditioner off for you. <laughs> Hi! Hi guys, What's good? We're here to share a very beautiful product with you. We were contacted by a wonderful company. Da -da -da -da. It's everyday wigs. Everyday wigs. And they wanted us to show you guys one of their beautiful wigs. And what better way than to use our drag queen? To just use it. To use, use it. To yeah. use it. Yeah. She likes being used. I do. Who is she? A slut. What's her name? Oh, her name is Vix. This is Vix's new hair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got some hair for Vix. Follow uh, Vix NYC. Yeah, Vix New York. He's going catatonic. Cat. Cat, 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 cat. Catatonic. <laughs> we thought we'd switch it up for you guys a little bit. We usually show you some cosplay stuff with our wigs. Mm -hmm. And since we're both, I mean, you're prominent in the drag community and I'm sort of delving in in the wig world, Wigwam. Wig world. In the wig world <laughs> of New York City and of drag, what better way than to use this beautiful promotion from these guys? Oh, she's long, she's orange. Okay. She came with a wig cap! She came with a wig cap. That's yes. nice because I lose wig caps consistently. Yeah. So already I can tell that it's thick on this. Ooh, she looks so oh, Oh, she's very soft. Oh, my. And it's Italian oh, lace, which is lovely. Mm -hmm. You can tell because it's soft. Oh, the Italian. Pasta! They've left them in like their original curl. Yeah, like, tight, tight curl. They're very tight so that you can have the freedom to play with it. Which I'm very excited about. There's nothing I love more than a sexy like Hollywood wave. Can you hold the head so it's not squeaking like that? Hold the neck. <laughs> Whoa! So these are brushed out. Like you can see from the back that they're very uh, like separated yeah. like and like freshly curled. Right. And you know if you curl your hair and you just kind of finger brush like. it, yeah. that's kind of what this is. You don't really want that too we're much in a wig this. because then it lo makes it look a out of the box. bit more fake and yeah. out of the box. So you just make personalize it, look it a little bit more natural by brushing her out. But she is stunning. She's very thick. Very thick. Love that. We love that. And her hairline. I'm obsessed with that hairline. I know. Oh, no, no. Vix is not a mover and a shaker. As someone once famously said, uh, she doesn't do much. And obviously, once you brush it out a little bit more, these pieces become a little less uh, segmented. So you, the lace is completely covered, the netting in the back. Yeah. But if you get a wig and you can see the lacing a little bit, that's really not that um, yeah. that means you gotta out of place. You just, it. you just spread it out. They've given it to you in its most like natural form. I will say that I have had a little bit of hair come out. Um, that's gonna happen, but that's certainly not as bad as I've seen yeah. in my wig Especially days. with like loose wigs too. Nice. She's lovely to touch. We're gonna give her a little bit of some drag. volume. We're top. gonna give her some drag volume. So all like, in all, like, the it gives you a good it, amount of lace to work with yeah, if this, you wanted to add a hairline, but their hairline that they made is to die nice. for. You could pluck a little bit if you wanted to go supernatural. You could get some baby hairs in here on the sides if you wanted to go supernatural. If you have any interest in this wig or their site, you can go down below and they've given us a special 20% off code right now. It's Schizophanax, our whole name. Yeah. Our full given name. Our full given name. That is, has ever been easier to remember. No numbers, no nothing. Schizophanax, 20% yeah. off. 20% off right now. Check out the description. Go to their website. Their uh, wigs are on the pricier side. They do have human hair wigs, but you're really paying for value. Here. You're paying for quality. So there's combs. Oh, great. Which is excellent. Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh my god! There it is. <laughs> it's so big. There's so much hair. It's fully on top of my hair. That is beautiful. It looks like a princess. Merida, who is she? I don't know who that is. <laughs> wow, you should get red hair. Yeah? No. Well, as is what it looks like on a person. The length in full is stunning. And then we're gonna give it a little bit of drag. We'll give you a little bit of a tutorial for you to follow along and see how I get into face. I'm gonna wear this stunning wig tomorrow and you'll get to see your action a little bit too. Thank you everyday wigs. Yeah. Hey guys, so I'm gonna give you a makeup tutorial now. Um, I'm not very good at this. Uh, <laughs> basically you go in with a purple glue stick, um, uh, brush those hairs up once the glue sets a little bit when it's tacky so um, it sticks down and you get rid of that texture. Uh, I do this five or six times depending on how 
crazy the day is going to be. Um, as you can see, I literally just brush it up, apply glue, smush it down, and now I'm putting a translucent powder over the brows, uh, brush the excess off. Again, I'll repeat this process over where, over the, over, over, over Bergs. Yep. And at this point, you don't have to worry about the direction you put it in. I usually just put it to the side because I feel like it smooths out the texture more. Um, Cause you're obviously just trying to get rid of your eyebrows. Uh, you start to look a little crazy at this point, but that's okay. Oh, hey, Sunny. Um, uh, so now that the brows are laid, I'm going to go in with my Krylon paint stick. This is my base color. And I just put that all over my face. This is a really thick consistency makeup. It's for stage and for screen, I guess, too. It's called a TV paint stick. And I'm just going in with a beauty blender and blending all of this in. I'm literally just trying to get rid of my features. <laughs> if you go to a Kryolan store, they can match you perfectly with your skin tone. And I'm just covering up those brows. I suggest using a different beauty blender on this part because you don't want it to soak up the glue because then it'll lift your makeup. Um, so now I'm going in with another beauty blender. This has contour color on it. This is my contour one. Um, this is just a brown cream paint from Ben Nye. And uh, I'm going in and blending that into where I contour. I don't like to draw a crazy new contour on. Um, I say if you have bone structure already, you might as well just use the bone structure that you have in drag. Not everyone feels that way, but that's okay. Uh, my cheekbones are just too prominent. Like I can't make new ones. <laughs> Uh, blending that into my hairline, obvi. And now I'm going in with another paint stick. This is TV White. This is what I use as my highlighter, so I try not to put too much on because um, I don't want to be like a ghost, you know? I'm already very white. I don't need to be whiter. I blend, I'm blending this with the same one I used to blend the original base color because I want the colors to blend together really well. And now I'm just setting everything with a translucent powder. I am a huge fan of powders. I love them. Baby shark, do, 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 do. Baby shark, do, 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 do. Um, okay, now I'm going in with a contour powder. I know I didn't show you guys, but this is just a round brush. It's pretty firm, and I use this to set all of that contour that I just did. This is a brow marker. This is a, well, technically it's just a brown eyeliner marker. I've been using this recently, and I'm really obsessed with it. And I'm just going in and drawing my brows, trying to get that shape in there. Yeah, basically completely off screen the entire time, but really sorry. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> um... And now I'm going in with my base color on just a little tiny brush, and I'm just cleaning up these lines, fixing the shape. I like to do the entire brow, fix the shape afterward, and not try to fix it in the process, because I feel like that takes really long. I add little baby hairs to the front. Okay, so now I'm going in with some eyeshadows now that the brows are done. This is a, is it blue? Yeah, this is blue. <laughs> it's a pretty flat, fluffy brush. Uh, I'm just going in and uh, sort of carving out this shape that I like. And now I'm taking the other end of that brush with a tr translucent powder and buffing out these edges to sort of soften it a little bit and blend it into my skin tone. Now I have a liquid liner, uh, so I am sharpening that inner eye corner and bringing that to a little baby wing on the outside. And it may seem <laughs> big to most people, but to a drag queen, that's pretty small. And I carve out my crease. I like a really hard crease. And I fill that inner part and the lid with an orange just because they're complementary colors. I also do this thing where I take the eyeshadow that I'm wearing and I bring it into my nose contour. I think it's really cohesive. This is me taking a white, the same white cream that we used earlier. And I am just sort of cleaning lines up. I'm adding it to the brow bone because we want to soften that a little bit. And now I'm going in with the nose contour and the highlight. Uh, taking a really small brush and just sort of making that nose look snatched and tiny. Uh, add a little bean to the nose. Uh, this is eyeshadow that I'm using as blush. It is an orange and a pink. I'm mixing them together. I really like orange. I think it warms the face really well. So I'm going in with a uh, lash glue now under the eye and above the crease. And I'm using this really pretty like aquamarine-y kind of teal blue glitter uh, and just making those pop. Now I have a nude lip liner. Um, drawing the shape. I don't think I overdraw my lips too much. I go like a centimeter above my actual lip line. Uh, and then I'm filling that all in with the same pencil just to sort of neutralize everything and get a good base. Now we are adding mascara to the lower lashes. Okay, I just put lash glue on because I'm waiting for it to dry. 
Um, and while I'm doing that, I'm applying my favorite lip gloss. It's just like a pink shimmery one. Um, this is a highlighter. My highlighter is clearly running out. I've hit pan many a time. And I'm just putting that on the high points on the face, sort of where we applied that white earlier instead of setting it. I love highlighter. I think it's one of my favorite parts of drag. <laughs> now I'm testing these lashes. I do this completely off camera. I'm sorry, but I had to be so close to the mirror. There you go. Pop those bad boys on. And then a Vicks staple, which I actually never do anymore. <laughs> I add three little beauty marks above the lip, under the eye, and above the eyebrow. And uh, that's the face. Don't mind my nipples, I hope we don't get demonetized. About to slap this wig on. My god, she looks like a princess. Yes! This wig is so cute. I love, I loved wearing it. Um, I felt really stunned the entire night. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that makeup tutorial. Have a lovely day. And uh, thank you to Everyday Wigs for this beautiful, beautiful hair. I got so many compliments on it. And uh, yeah, stay cool, schizophans. <laughs>